En tant que yon yon, j'ai des sentiments. J'ai des sentiments. My update. I got me a Team Brown note emoji here for the squad. Shout out to Butchie Boy 420. Appreciate you, bro. And it just shows you, like, you know, you got people out here that think about you while, you know, they living their life, you know. So, and that mean a lot. I mean, you know, it goes both ways, man. If I see something out, you know, for me and the squad, you know, friends, whatever, I do the same. But this basically is the emergency roadside kit. I keep molded hoses as well as other um, vacuum line tees and um, solenoids and relays and, you know, different things of that nature. I keep some 100% antifreeze. That way you can mix it with some water. That gets you at least two gallons. Hoses, fix it flat. Tools. Just a little random tool. Back here. I got some ghetto rig fans. Sound building is going real, 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 real good. Literally, like, it looked like I have no bass from the trunk now. Because there's no more rattling, there's no more trunk flex or with the spoiler. My spoiler, I thought I was going to break it at one point. But now it doesn't even move unless I play, like, you know, 20, 18 to 20 hertz. Um, PC fans. This one came out of a computer. That one came out of a 3D printer. I don't think it's working. No, it ain't working. I don't know what's up with that. I got to figure that one out. Maybe it's just burnt out. But I know it's wired correctly because I soldered and heat shrunk everything and used Tesla tape. This one came out of a power inverter or a... I tore something up at my old job to get that out. I forgot what it came out of, but it was, it was already broke. I still got my SMS220 back there with Team Veil bus bars. And two rock welding cable, um, OFC, Fosgate, um, Fosgate, and some sky high. Over here is where my amps are linked. Down there is the liquid. It's a 40 amp hour bank. Runs proper. I know y'all looking like, what happened from your old amp rack to this? Well, yeah. It's kind of hard to see, but there's a nice gap about a half inch all the way through, and that's to keep the amps totally off of the subwoofer box. It's basically suspended. Um, that block right there goes down to the frame, and over there to the frame, and then I just built this platform to go across with some support legs in the middle, and it keeps it up off the box. That's pretty much it. Then it's still doing really good. And actually it changed color, see from it's actually changing up. And it's kinda goofy, but I usually just keep it on red or blue. Those are my, you know, whatever accents I have going on in the car. And then here, my crack is growing, I gotta fix it. No, oh yeah. I don't know if y'all saw that right there. This is perfect for the guys living in Arizona. Any, anywhere where you have scorpions, you know. You know, got the black lights going. And it shines really good at night. Anything white you have on or neon colored, it'll definitely pop out. No shit. I also have one other thing that I want to share with y'all besides, you know, looking at this, this lame uh, cell phone holder from back in 2001, I believe. It's this right here. Yeah. Right, does anyone remember this car right here? This was my, uh, the Sundown Malibu. Got Fosgate Pro 6.5s, nice Pioneer NEX center, two Sundown X12s, that box is perfectly tuned to.
I got a good feeling that I'm gonna break this glass because the trunk is wedged right here. I could wedge it up and kind of pop it and try to see what happens. Maybe the metal will bend, roll under, but we're gonna have glass breakage. So I'm gonna get to it, <clears throat> work my way from the rear to the front. Still one sexy amp. And I got a D2400 and a Kinetic. I went on and disconnected all the power from up front. This was back in the days when I used to solder all my connections. You know, filling it up, drilling a hole and filling it with solder while the wire is on it. When I have a, it works perfect when you have like a low power torch. High power torch, you really don't need to do that. Well, I disconnected the, the battery from up front. Uh, little nifty trick I used instead of people going on this bolt here and I just cleaned the, the area real good ran the bolt through nut lock washer bam you're good dielectric grease call it a day you know, I really got to start stop second guessing myself sometimes this panel right here this was an amp rack it was floating literally it didn't sit down on the floor it sat up off and I had it anchored onto the, the frame of the car there and over there and even when it had the little accident it moved a little bit but I tried to break this off and I couldn't you know just like rip it apart I mean I probably could have but I mean I gave it a really really good tug and it just goes to show strong it's on there. I don't even remember when I did this build. It was a couple of years ago. And everything is still looking pretty solid. Hey, look, real quick, just an update on the battery. And all of the cells were within 100 of a vote. As far as the performance, I'm very happy. I do not drop below literally 14.2. Uh, right now, I have a very hot motor. Very, very hot. And I'm at idle. My cooling fans are on right now, so that's a good 50 amps being drawn off of the uh, system. I'm waiting for them to cut off, let some of that coolant cycle through the engine. I just don't like cutting off a hot motor. All right, coolant fans are off. I'm going to cut the car off. That's my voltage right now. Car is off. I'm about to cut some fans on. Those fans are taking at least 7 to 10 amps. Both my amps, well, all three of my amps back there is at least 10 amps worth of um, just at idle. You know, when there's no, you know, signal going through them, you know, just resting, they're taking current. So that's about 10, 15, safe to say. So you're safe to say. And the radio, I forgot, and I, I'm actually playing music, so I'm getting a good 20 amp draw off of it right now. And that's where it's gonna pretty much stay there for a while. If I was to sit in the car and just chill, it'll stay there for a while. So it's definitely, it's definitely a help. As you can see right now, I'm getting a constant 20 amp current draw on it. And like I said, I can do this for 30 minutes to an hour, and it usually won't drop below 13, 